One of the greatest challenges we face in the next century is the rising sea levels and the danger this presents to people living by the coast. Antarctica holds 90% of the planet's ice. And what happens there is a major influence on how much and how fast sea levels will rise. West Antarctica alone has enough ice to raise global sea levels by more than three meters. And this region is under threat because the mighty glaciers are changing. The largest and the most concerning is Thwaites Glacier. This glacier is the size of Great Britain and larger than the US state of Florida. The ice is over one kilometer thick, but it's collapsing. So experts from the US and UK have joined forces to try and find out why. Research shows that the final point where the glacier rests on bedrock, called the grounding line, is retreating as warmer ocean water melts underneath the ice shelf. It's moved 14 kilometers since 1992. Ice that was on land has melted or is now floating on water and so raising sea levels. And the downward slope of the bedrock means that as the grounding line moves back, it exposes a thicker slice of ice to lift off the land, thereby accelerating the flow of ice into the ocean. In the last 30 years, the amount of ice being lost to the sea from Thwaites Glacier has increased, and with neighboring glaciers accounts for more than 10% of global sea level rise. And if this continues, many of our major coastal cities will be under threat from more frequent and extreme flooding. So, it's vital that we take action. Reducing our emissions of greenhouse gases may delay or even prevent ice sheet collapse, but it is certain that understanding changes to Thwaites Glacier will improve projections and help governments and society to protect coastlines around the world and to adapt to rising sea levels.